Welcome to the Beacon in Courage, powered by Beacon Life Church. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram. This is Beacon in Courage, your weekly dose of courage. Be all that God called and created you to be. This is the Beacon in Courage, the Beacon Empowerment. Simply be. A very, very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So delighted to be coming your way yet again. You're welcome to the Beacon Encourage. I'm yours truly, Dr. M. De Desire. We are powered by Beacon Life Church. Today, I'm so delighted, as you know, always to be coming your way. If you're meeting us for the first time, please take a moment, touch the notification button, touch the subscription button, join our cyber family. We are delighted to be connecting with you and you'll be receiving our content in real time. I do have a dear man of God, a friend of mine for a while now, doing some incredible, incredible work in Kenya, around Kenya, in Nairobi here, in the Rift Valley area, and is doing some amazing kingdom business. I'm so delighted to bring him your way to tell his story and to share his life with you and also give us a word of encouragement. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Rams School, welcome with me the Bishop Shadrach Ogembo. Yes. You are so welcome, Bishop. <laughs> Thank you I'm very so much. delighted to have you on set today. <laughs> ah, yes. I've been looking forward to do this for quite a while. Yes. And I'm glad that uh, we are finally here. I'm going to ask you as we begin to... Uh, first things first, I want you to take a moment and give us a brief introduction about who Bishop Shadrach is because many of them are meeting you for the first time. Yes. Um, Bishop Shadrach Ogembo. Yes. Um, born again. And... Uh, I'm married with the two children, yes. Abram and Jabez. Yes. But apart from that, I have so many children that I raised in the program. Mm. And uh, I'm the bishop of uh, REM mm. ministry, which is Rural Evangelistic Missions. Mm. Rural uh, Evangelistic uh, Missions. Evangelistic Missions. Yes. Which was started 20 years ago. Mm. And uh, our aim. Mm. The ultimate aim of starting this mission was to reach the young people, yes. especially the young people who are uh, poor in the mm. slum, yes. who are drug, uh, I've lost them, I've made them to get lost, yes. and also poverty has made them to go on the street to beg. Mm. So we had uh, a goal to reach out such yes. kind of people. Mm. And uh, especially we had in Nairobi, we started in a slum which was once demolished. Mm. It's called Mitumba Slum, yes. a rejected place. Mm. So it was like next to Wilson Airport mm -hmm. uh, in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So there we had uh, uh, several children that we found that are poor and do not have even uh, food to eat, mm. do not have even water. Mm. Sanitary, was, uh, sanitary place was so poor. Mm. And uh, that is uh, what touched my, our heart. Mm. When we started, we started in that place, in yes. Mitumba Slum, mm. where poverty streak was too much. Mm. That uh, even uh, these children, their parents could give them just alcohol to leave, mm. just to doze around so that it may not disturb them. Wow. And a number of them who are able to walk out they could go to the street of Nairobi mm. to beg mm. and also sometimes to mug people. Mm. So we had a concern mm -hmm. as a church. Mm. We felt that we can bring these children into uh, what we call Bible club. Yes. And when we started a Bible club, many children came because we had fun with them. Mm. We teach them the word of God. We realized these children, uh, even uh, they were coming because of food, because mm. we were providing some food for them. Mm. The bait was food, was mm. bringing them. Mm. But we realized as we bring them, give them food, we also wanted to teach them the word of God. Yes. And there, we found that so many came in mm. because of food. Mm. And uh, that is the time we realized how long will we raise these children mm. who have just come from the street, yes. who are living in a, a devastated place in Mitumba Slam mm. without uh, education? So that is where we came with a vision of saying we have to start a school for them. Mm. And we started an in what we call those days informal school. Mm. Some 
we call it informal because it was not considering the age. Mm. Even an age, a 13 year old uh, boy or a girl come into our program and we could teach them the word of God as mm. well as teaching them how to read and write. Yes. That's mm. how we began Wonderful. in the Islam. And that's how the ministry of REM began. Wonderful. And uh, those who could come and visit us and see what is happening in the Islam, mm could really see that the word of God can change life. Yes. Parents who are, those parents who are there living in this slum, mm. most of them were drunkard. Yes. They were lost in sin, mm. as I can say, mm. because they were drunkard, some were, uh, <coughs> were not able to uh, keep their families because uh, uh, prostitution was too much. Mm. HIV, mm. AIDS was too much and people were also sick mm. in the same place where we were. Mm. But one thing which I found out is the word of God that we taught these little children mm. that also came a, a turnover and made, went and reached out their parents. Mm. We didn't uh, have the target to reach the parents, mm. but we used the children as a target and the parents were reached by the children. Mm. In other words, when we taught the children the word of God, mm. good songs, and we gave them food, mm. they go and tell the parents mm. what they have received in our praise. Mm. And also, those who, their lives were not proper, they were not living a good life, they mm. could tell their parents that, oh, the Word of God is saying this. Mm. So I saw the power of the Word of God mm. teaching their little children to transform the life of their parents. Yes. That is the first thing I can say about mm. REM, mm. that we began there, mm. and there we began a school. Mm. And this school attracted so many other little children that mm. were going to the street because we were providing food. Yes. Some also, some people were providing us with cake and such mm. donation. Mm. The ministry of REM began as a, a, a faith ministry. Mm. We didn't have a sponsor that can say, I will provide this and this for you. Mm. But God was with us. Yes. We never lack and Amazing. continue to provide food for Amazing. their children. Wonderful. I know you mentioned that you started in Mitumba slums near yes. the Wilson Airport. Thank Talk you. to us about how many locations you are right now around the country. Uh, right now, mm. uh, we have uh, the one that m in Mitumba Slam we migrated to Sotbi, Fuatanyayo okay. Slam, okay. where we have uh, we are we are taking care of about 750 children mm. in the slum, and some se several families are taken care of. Yes, uh, and also we have a program going on in Magadi. Mm -hmm. We have uh, over 200 children in a, a place which is very. Uh, very dry mm. in Magadi. Mm. So we have about uh, 200 children that we're taking care of them mm. in that place. Mm -hmm. They are also boarding in that center. Mm. And also here in Gong, we have uh, this REM High School yes. where we have uh, uh, over 600 uh, children are being taken care of mm. here. And mm. this school is uh, just as a result of uh, what we had in the Mtumba and in the slum, mm. we wanted to start something out of the slum so that we may make these children mm. find a, 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 a life, a belonging. Amazing. Just a life which is uh, outside, mm. uh, a area where you can see only poverty. Mm. But in that way also we had a slogan which is called Bloom where you are planted. Bloom where you are planted. When bloom where you are planted. Mm. And this uh, word bloom where you are planted is as a result of telling these children that if they are in the slum, mm. since you have learned God's word, mm. let your character mm. bloom. Mm. Let your character show others that somebody who was having a bad character can mm. change and bloom beautiful and shine beautiful Jesus. beautiful so we have another program in oma bay we yes. had uh, when high school was begun we mm. had children from different places of uh, different parts of kenya mm. and oma bay we had some children and mm. whereby hiv is uh, mm. it's a big rampant it's a rampant mm. and also we had so many orphans yes. and uh, 
the families there gave us a land so that we may build a school mm. for, and a church for mm. them. Mm. So Amazing. there we have a, ch a center. Amazing. And uh, as a result of that, we also have a church planted mm. in Kisumu town yes. and mm. helping some of the orphans mm. in that place. Well done, Bishop. Yes. Some great, great work going on. I'm most acquainted with the Rem High School here in the Gong area. Yes. And I've visited you many times. I've seen the incredible work that you are doing. Mm -hmm. And I look around and it looks like an ecosystem. You have students, <laughs> you have classrooms, you have their sleeping areas, you have farming places, yeah. animals and planting. Mm -hmm. You have accommodation for staff, you have accommodation for guests. I mean, it's amazing. And now the last time I came, I found you have a... Uh, a, 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 a primary school added to the to the high school. Yeah. Talk to us about this site and where all this inspiration comes from and how uh, you manage your people, your students, your staff and all of that. Yeah, so uh, as a result of the demolition that took place in Mitumba Slam yes. and uh, we were so shocked that God does things in, a, in his own way. Mm. We were called uh, to visit uh, U.S. one time, yes. and uh, the church, when they saw this, they, they saw the things that took place in Mitungo when the demolition was taking place. Mm. The offerings that was thrown when we were in the pulpit mm. was able to buy the land mm. where we are mm. in, uh, in Gong area. Yes. And uh, here the vision was to make sure that this center mm. is a center for God to bring out this devastated uh, community, especially children mm. that are poor, mm. to be helped in this center. Mm. In fact, REM, uh, REM school in Gong is the only school with in, in the whole world which mm. has got no school, school fee structure. Amazing. And mm. that is uh, to help the needy. So you have six, seven hundred children without yes, a fee structure. without a fee structure. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh -huh. <laughs> by faith, God, yes. we cannot explain about faith, but mm. God yes. has been doing great things. Yes. No time we ever lack mm. the food that the children are eating. Yes. I cannot explain, but whenever we, we need, we, the need comes, mm. God provides in a miraculous way, but mm. we, feed them, uh, we feed them with good meals, mm. with a well-balanced diet, and... Uh, the children we uh, we catered for uh, 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 are encouraged mm. and we can see that when we started a school we yes. were not starting a school because we wanted to um, bring we are not expert in education yes but we are bringing these poor children in this center to t give them education mm. just to survive for God's glory mm. but we have turned to be the best amazing in this uh, sub county, we are the best. Amazing. In extra, extra curriculum mm. activities, in uh, education, mm. in well behaved students, yes, we are the best. Wonderful. And that one is what I can say. Wonderful. And uh, it um, is amazing because the word of God that mm. make everything work. Wonderful. Mm. I want to ask uh, because when someone hears the kind of opportunity you have here, you may have all the children in Nairobi come to your center here. <laughs> the question is, how do you uh, recruit? How do the children come? How do you choose who is going to come here and who will not come here? Number two, you've been doing this for a number of years now. Let's hear some success stories. Some children that have gone through, they've finished, they've graduated, mm -hmm. and they are doing some amazing things that you are very, very proud of what they are doing right now. So what I would say, the way we, whenever anything good happen, mm. because our center, we have, everything is, is good. Mm. Our dormitory is neat. Mm. Our food is good. Mm. Everything is comfortable. Classes are comfortable. Mm. And many people who are wealthy or who are, who are capable of sending their children into national schools in mm. Kenya want to bring their children also in REM high school mm. but we have a category of selecting because this school we do not have the school school fee structure mm. but we try to get the very vulnerable mm. the poor mm. first of all we categorize maybe a divorced parents mm. uh, somebody who is uh, uh, having uh, uh, parents separated yes that's uh, and also a vulnerable child that is uh, having parents but is not 
living a comfortable life because mm. parents are fighting all the time. Mm. And then the third category, the total orphan, mm. and also another one with a single mm. parent mm. who are not able to go to school. Mm. So as they bring their children, we categorize. Mm. We even question the parent who is bringing, are you able mm. to support your child in a different school than having brought it mm. at REM? Mm. Mm. So we reason out and we also go to the physical area where they live mm. so that we may find a child who is very needy. Mm. So in our center we have great successful stories. Mm. Uh, we have engineers that yes. have been produced in Amazing. this place. Well done. We have <laughs> mm. doctors. Yes. In fact, one of our students in, in the University of mm. Baraton mm. is one of the best students. Wow. He's considered to be the... He, he, last year, he, he, he got a council award. Wow. And people are wondering, where is this school? Where has mm. produced such... And also, the category of our children mm. When they have come here, mm. they go back home with a character mm. which everybody is attracted. Mm. Some of the children that have come who are poor in the village have been brought to us by those who have left and gone to the village because mm. their character is so unique. Mm. They are very disciplined, they are very organized, mm. and we always get some poor children from the villages where they come from, mm. or the slum where they come from. Mm. And now, the successful story I can say that in REM High School, mm. there's no failure. Bless God. We take people with the low marks, mm. like one time we got a girl with 178 uh, points in KCP. Mm. And mm. Later, That's out of 500. And out of 500, and <laughs> yes. later on, mm. Those are kind of people who are not considered to pass. Mm. They will always be failure. But mm. now in REM school, turn this l little girl from asylum mm. to have a C minus. Amazing. And going mm. to do a diploma in, 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 in any, any area where she would love to go into. Amazing. So we have uh, uh, chefs that mm. we produce. Mm. And uh, the chefs that are even in catering for our children are, mm. are trained from our school. Amazing. Mm. Uh, the engineer that is uh, taking care of everything around here, mm. uh, engineer Kapere, yes. is from our school. Amazing. So we mm. have uh, uh, so those students that even gone to university, they become such successful mm. and they are recognized. Mm. That one day even uh, one of the universities uh, uh, registrar called mm. me and say, uh, Bishop Shadrach, I want some of your children mm. to come to our school, mm. to our university, mm. because uh, they are they are unique children. They mm. behave so nicely, and mm. they don't uh, underrate their study. They study yes. well and they pass. Mm. Yes, amazing. Beautiful, beautiful success stories <laughs> there, ladies and gentlemen. We are talking to the good Bishop uh, Shadrach Ogembo right here at the Rams, R Rural Evangelistic, evangelistic Ministries, missions. or Mission, yes. Rural Evangelistic missions. missions. They are doing education, they are taking care of children, they are raising children from uh, primary school through secondary school, mm -hmm. and we hear the success stories of the amazing things that they are doing. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, uh, <clears throat> on a personal level, uh, what I call the testimony question. Yes. Something over your journey, your life with God, something that the Lord has done in your life that has become a turning point. You always remember. You remember how David fought with the, the, the lion and the bear and he told that story before Saul. I'm sure it left a mark on his life. There must be something in your life that every time you look back, it is a turning point for you. Yes, as um, helping people hearts also. Mm. And... Uh, uh, you can hurt the those whom you're helping and yes. also yourself you can be uh, you can be hurt by those that you, you are, are helping. helping that's true and um, it is so challenging but mm. as we always do this yes uh one thing that uh, has challenged my life that god is with us mm. the surety that god is with us mm. sometimes we are down and we don't know which way to take. Yes. And when we approach our God in prayer, mm. consult him in prayer, yes. he answers us. Mm. And also we realize that uh, 
we have a verse that is uh, Matthew chapter mm. uh, 5 verse 16. Mm -hmm. Let your light shine mm -hmm. before men mm -hmm. that they may see your good work and glorify, and your glorify Father the Father yes. in heaven. Mm -hmm. So something that uh, has ever struck me so much, mm -hmm. I realize that as we serve, mm -hmm. we ask God to help us serve the mm. poor without mm. hurting them. Yes. And also, we also, we don't want the poor to hurt us. Mm. So, going back to the feet of Jesus Christ is the most important thing. Yes. Just asking him to mm. give us grace. Mm. Mm. But uh, in the journey is not very easy. Mm. But a turning point that I was, uh, uh, one time when I went to buy food for children, Yes. I was kajaked. Mm. That's a turning point. Wow. And that's why you can see I don't uh, say I don't have my air. Yes. I do save. Yes. That's a turning point that God <laughs> really made me to know that yes. He has a purpose for our living. Mm. So with my wife we were kajaked and I was uh, hit with a, a pistol uh, uh, button but mm. not the gun mm -hmm. but left on the road for death. Mm. But God did a miracle. Mm. Race, the way he did it mm. was marvelous. And yes. uh, I'm alive again. Eh? Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So when uh, that come to point, it mm. made us to rededicate ourselves more to mm. the Lord mm. and say, nothing come easy, mm. nothing come with our own strength, mm. but it is only God. Mm. So at that point, my life has turned to say, I don't want to see myself struggling for my own. Mm. I surrender it to God. Mm. So that has turned everything around, mm. that when I'm doing things, I rely on God, not all those people who are promised that I will give you mm. food. Mm. I rely on God. Yes. And mm. God has been protecting and manifesting himself. He never fails. He never fails, and mm. each day he gives us a different vision to continue mm. uh, with our Work. Amazing. Yes. Amazing testimony of God's protection yes. and providence. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You t you mentioned your wife and how you're kajaked and I know up to today you work very well with her in the ministry. Yes. Doing amazing amazing things together. Let's talk about your thoughts on marriage, especially uh, working together with your spouse in the ministry because every time I meet you you are with her laboring. Yes. yes. I tell you it is uh, uh, one time uh, it caught I think it, uh, God is the one who gives uh, mm. his children, blesses his children yes. Yes. with a good wife. Mm. And he has given me a wife that we can work together with. Bless the Lord. And uh, most of the time when we are working, we concentrate on our work. Mm. People do not know that we are a couple. Mm. And one time we <laughs> served <laughs> with uh, some of the colleagues mm. for uh, over three months. Mm. And later on they realized, oh, <laughs> can I can I know your wife uh -huh. uh, and how many children? Mm -hmm. Then when I said uh, you will just know her, but when she realized that the wife I'm working, the, the, person, the person I'm working with, working with is yes. the wife, <laughs> he was amazed. Yes. I think God is the one who brings people together yes. mm. and uh, make them to work together. Mm. Normally people say that a couple cannot work together mm. and uh, make things work. Mm. But when communication and love of God is within, yes. it is possible. It is possible. And uh, the trick, uh, the, the message that we have, mm. even we can we tell people, mm. if you try to move closer to your wife, mm. it is a parallel line. You yes. will never meet. Mm. You will always collide. Mm. But if you make Jesus be at the uh, apex yes. and you move towards Jesus, mm you will grow closer to one yes, another. And yes. that is the secret in mm. serving God. Mm. We try to move towards Jesus, yes. and at the same time, God bring us together and we're able to partner. Mm. Uh, we're able to serve people mm. more amicably yes. without any struggle. Wonderful. Yes, so Wonderful. Uh, in my life, that is the greatest blessing. Yes. And I believe this ministry is growing because mm. our partnership with my wife mm. has been very close. Wonderful. Yes.
a big big blessing to hear the joy of you serving together with your partner i know that you are very passionate in the area of faith and yes. uh, i know that it's been demonstrated by the works that you do and what we see around your your campus here mm. When I see the borehole here, I see faith. Yes. When I see all these buildings, I see faith. When I see all these students, I see faith. Yes. Talk to us a little bit, your <laughs> quick highlights on the subject of faith. Yeah. The subject of faith is very difficult to understand it in the normal way. Yes. But I, we have experienced mm. our lives has been in and, and closed in f by living by faith. Yes. Because uh, we share, normally I share our vision mm. to people and tell them we have this vision, we want to, like the recent uh, program that is taking place yes. in our center, mm. we have the mission house. Yes. Uh, we had a, a program that we want to have the mission house mm. that. Uh, Sort missionaries can come and stay. Mm. We continue to talk about that by, by faith. We and uh, some of our board members are asking me, "How will it come about by faith?" We yes. know mm. God will do. Mm. And uh, last year, I can remember one of the pastors uh, who visited us say, mm. "Pastor Shadrach, I want to sleep in this mission house yes. in 2024." Wow. And here, God has provided. Mm. God provided in a miraculous manner. Amazing. And now in an amazing way, mm. we have a good uh, uh, constructor uh, mm. who have made this uh, building to be complete within two months. Amazing. I just say this is faith. Amazing. This is faith. Amazing. Nothing else can do such things, mm. but God can do it mm. when you trust in him. Yes. Because um, if you have faith mm. in God, mm and you trust him mm. faith is not just uh, you have money in the bank and say i want to do this mm. somebody right now we feed our children yes but there's no money in the bank mm. that is faith yes and you you believe god that is providing mm. one of our workers uh, one time uh, when we had Nothing re remaining in the store, he was the storekeeper. Mm. And he said, Pastor Shadrach or Bishop Shadrach, there is nothing today. Yes. How will he survive? I said, let's trust God by yes. faith. Mm. In, the, in, a, in a scenario, somebody got convicted mm. to carry a bunch of food mm. with a truck. Amazing. And afternoon of that day, <coughs> the storekeeper was so surprised to find that things have been brought mm. he thought that I knew mm. but it was just trusting God amazing and he provided miraculously amazing so I could have cited several verses but if you look at the Word of God living by faith mm. is the most uh, demanding yes sacrificial yes but enjoyable yes sir. when the answer comes Amazing, amazing. What a story. You know, the scripture says, have faith in God. Yes. And then he continues to say that just shall live, live by, faith. by faith. So I'm so delighted to yeah, hear your yeah, story yeah, and yeah, the yeah. snippets of things, yes. uh, of the great things that God is doing around you. Amen. Yes. I'm going to ask you, Bishop, to look in this camera yes. and take a moment and just minister to, we have people that are broken, we have people that are tired, you have people that are discouraged. Your story is absolutely inspiring and some of them are looking at you and wishing uh, they could be. I want you to take some time using the scriptures and speak to them, bless them, encourage them. Yes. Uh, dear listeners, we are here and we have, uh, we have heard our story. But what, ca what I can say to you as listeners, that in God, all is possible. Mm. And when you trust in this God of ours, he will be able to provide at the time of your need. Yes. Me, uh, in our ministry, we trusted and we put our faith in God. Yes. And he has ever been so closer to us. Mm. At the time of need, friends can fail you, mm. 
at the time of need, even family members can fail you, but yes. God will never fail you. Yes. So I would really love each one of us mm. to focus on this, our theme verse. Yes. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Mm. Let your light shine mm. before men. Yes. But uh, if your light shine before men, mm. People will glorify God, yes. not you. Mm. People will praise and say, admire how you live. Mm. And they will say, surely, how wonderful is this person? Mm. And how is he making it mm. in the time of difficulties? Yes. So that is my desire to ask you mm. just to have, whenever there is a difficult Thing that is uh, disturbing you, mm. may you have a focus on God, mm. because He's a good shepherd. Yes, sir. He will always take care of you. Yes, sir. And the care of you with all your family, mm. care of you with everything that you have. Mm. May God bless you. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bishop, for that wonderful encouragement. I know we've spoken a lot about the school and the children and the education. Uh, but you mentioned a little bit about a church in Kisumu. Let's talk about the church arm of the ministry work that you are doing before yes. I let you go. Yeah, the mm. church arm of the yes. ministry. Mm. In fact, uh, the consolation comes from the church. Yes. When things are difficult, mm. you come back on the ground, on the church ground, and just fasting and prayer. Yes. The church members, mm. those it is a joy to see somebody will never know the Lord. Yes. Somebody who was in the street there mm. and a family that had never come to know Jesus yes. and have come to know the Lord. Mm. We have a number of families that mm. have some of our pastors who are living in the, in the, in the slum. Yes. They never knew Jesus. Mm. Their children brought them to the church. Yes. They got saved and they had a desire to become pastors. Mm. So one thing I want to tell you there the arm of the church mm. is the one that has made us clearly to reach these people Bless that we are reaching mm. and changing lives. Bless In Lord. fact, without a church, I don't know mm. whether we could have done it the way we have done yes. it. Because mm. even the pastor we have in Magadi, yes. as a result of being in our school, mm. he said, I have a passion to become a pastor. Wow. So the church in Magadi, mm as a stronghold of reaching out the poor, the mm. poor community in the Magadi area. Mm. And I know that the church is a powerful tool mm. to reach out, yes. even in the schools, mm. even in the, the training mm. of uh, those who are poor, you can mm. train them mm. to have skills so yes. that they may earn a living. Yes. So it is just coming mm. through the church. Yes. The church, there is some, some sincerity mm. that the word of God is teaching us that if you are so sincere, yes. you will reach people with the love of God. Mm. You will not see their condition, yes. you will not see the, the tribal background. Mm. In fact, our center has all the tribes in Kenya. Mm. Wonderful. And that is a mm. church a joyful thing yes. and because of the church mm. of Jesus Christ we have had a great communication that is here to nourishing us mm. in the word of God. Bless the Lord. Yes. Well done Bishop. It's been my great joy to spend some time with you yes. and to have the opportunity to take your story out to our people okay. around the world and hear what God is doing in your life. Let me ask you if someone wants to get in touch with you, in touch with Rem. Do you have a, a website or an email or some? How do they get in touch with you? Sedam dot twenty fifteen at gmail dot com. At gmail dot com. We'll yes. have them run uh, on, yes, the screen. on the screen. Yeah. Before I ask you to pray for for us, let me ask you to give me your parting shot. What is the one thing you would like our viewers to remember for a long time? Bloom where you're planted bloom where you are planted what a word <laughs> from the bishop shadrach here be encouraged wherever you are like a beacon shining jesus light and i joined the bishop to say bloom, bloom where, where you, you are, are planted. planted you must bloom because yes. you are the planting of yes. the lord let me Amen. ask you bishop to take some time and pray for us our heavenly father we thank you jesus you are our savior mm. and i want to pray for the listeners mm. 
our listeners today that they may be touched to bloom where mm. they are planted. Yes, Lord. God want them to shine, mm. to know Him, mm. and to make others know Him also. Yes, Lord, we thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity to share mm. what you are doing in REM yes. and in our lives. Mm. May the people listening there know that your word is powerful yes. and can change mm. and can revive mm. and can take away poverty out of our doorpost. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Ladies and gentlemen, amen. thank you for joining us today. It was the Bishop Shadrach Ogembo ministering to us and what a beautiful, beautiful story of the works. You know, Jesus said, greater works than this shall you do. Amen. And we are looking at such a sight here and this is happening in Homer Bay. It's happening in <laughs> Magadi. It's happening in another part of Nairobi. Yeah. And we bless God for men in of Kibra. God like this doing amazing <laughs> things to our generation. The Lord bless you. The Lord impact you. Do you well. Stay blessed and highly favored. Like a beacon you are shining Jesus light every day. Remember we are a beacon and we shine Jesus light. We live by faith and not by sight. So the Lord bless you and do you good. Until this time next week, uh, we celebrate you and we bless you. Amen. Bye -bye. Amen. Bye. Amen and amen.